The F-16 Fighting Falcon, once a crown jewel of the skies, is now frequently referred to by some as a war horse nearing the end of its long and storied life. From its introduction in the 1970s to its role in the Gulf War, Kosovo, and countless other conflicts, the F-16 was a symbol of air superiority, a multi-role fighter that delivered precision strikes and air dominance. But over the years, the F-16 has faced growing scrutiny, with critics questioning whether this once vaunted fighter is simply a rung soken parang, war junk, a relic in the age of advanced stealth and hypersonic weapons. It's easy to see why the F-16 still carries such reverence. For decades, it served as the backbone of the United States Air Force, USAF, and NATO, providing unmatched versatility in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat. Its reputation for agility, relatively low cost, and adaptability made it the go-to fighter for allied nations. The F-16's radar, weapon systems, and its exceptional maneuverability allowed it to excel in dogfights and precision bombing missions alike, cementing its place in military history. However, the world of air combat has changed. The rise of fifth-generation fighters like the F-35 Lightning II, F-22 Raptor, and advanced air defense systems has fundamentally altered the nature of aerial warfare. The F-16, once the undisputed champion of the skies, is now being forced into a role of obsolescence. It's no longer the nimble, all-purpose fighter it once was, and the question of its continued relevance has come to the forefront. While the F-16 remains a formidable platform in many parts of the world, especially in countries that have invested heavily in upgrading its systems, it faces increasing limitations. Its radar signature, even with upgrades, is still much more visible compared to stealth fighters like the F-22 or F-35. As adversaries like China and Russia advance their own fifth-generation fleets, the F-16 struggles to maintain parity. The latest iterations of the F-16, though fitted with cutting-edge electronics, modernized avionics and weapons systems, still lack the stealth, super cruise capabilities, and advanced sensor fusion found in newer aircraft. For years, the F-16's reputation as a reliable, low-cost fighter has kept it in the fight. Its affordability made it a popular choice for smaller nations looking to bolster their air forces, and it remains in active service across the globe. Yet, as the U.S. and its allies shift their focus toward a new generation of air superiority platforms, the F-16 is often left in the background, overshadowed by aircraft designed to tackle a new breed of threats. Critics argue that continuing to upgrade the F-16 is a misguided effort, a costly band-aid on an aging design. The Rongsokan pairing label has become more than just an insult. It reflects the growing sentiment that the F-16 is simply too old to compete with the next wave of aerial technology. The fighter, which once symbolized the cutting edge of American air power, is now seen by some as a dated relic, outpaced, overshadowed, and outgunned. But labeling the F-16 as nothing more than war junk overlooks its lasting legacy. The F-16 has evolved into one of the most widespread and enduring fighters in history, serving not only as a combat aircraft, but also as a diplomatic tool. Its continued presence in the air forces of over 25 countries is a testament to its durability and versatility. The fighter has served in countless military engagements, from combat air patrols over the no-fly zones in Iraq to high-intensity operations in Afghanistan and Libya. While the F-16's technical limitations may be evident when compared to modern stealth platforms, the aircraft's endurance and adaptability have allowed it to remain in service for over four decades. Its global presence and the willingness of many nations to continue investing in its upgrades speak to the longevity of its design. The Rungsokan Parang label, while harsh, fails to fully capture the fighter's evolution and the critical role it still plays in the arsenals of many air forces around the world. What's undeniable, however, is that the F-16's era of dominance is over. No longer at the cutting edge, it now functions as a workhorse, ready for irregular warfare, close air support, and air policing duties, but no longer suited for the high-intensity, near-peer conflicts that are the focus of modern defense strategies. The advent of stealth technology, drone warfare, and hypersonic weapons has relegated the F-16 to a secondary role in most advanced air forces. Even the United States, 
once the proud owner of a fleet of over 2,000 F-16s, is now shifting its focus toward the next generation of fighter aircraft.